Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be attempting something for the first time ever. We're going to be destroying the Can Make Glow Fleur Cheeks Cheek or Blush Palette in number 10, Terracotta Fleur. So this is a brand new compact that I bought just for the purposes of this video. I'm sacrificing my hard-earned 800 yen to hopefully bring you guys some satisfying makeup destroying content. All right, let's just get started right away. I'm going to use this ceramic butter knife that I got at Daiso and and then maybe after I've destroyed and broken up all of the powder, I'm going to attempt to press it into one of these clear cases right here, which I also got from Daiso. All right, let's get started. I am so nervous. It's kind of hard to balance with this camera angle, but here we go. I'm gonna loosen up the sides first. Whoa. Damn! Okay, I actually didn't expect it to crumble that quickly. I thought that I would be able to maybe like cut the sides out. Let's see if we can pop out one of the roses here. Nope. Ah, okay, see, that's what I was looking for. Just a huge chunk of it to pop out like that. Ooh, see, look at that pattern. So clearly it extends like all the way through. It looks like they maybe manufacture the different pieces of the different colored blocks separately and then just piece it together like a puzzle when it's time to press it into the pan. Or I could be completely wrong, I don't know. Okay, I just realized that maybe I should have swatched this before I got started so that I could compare the separate colors to the final color mixed together in the end. Actually, maybe I can still do that. Give me a second here. Woohoo! I did it! That is actually a really nice color scheme. It kind of has a little bit of everything going on there. I really like this mauve rose color in the center here. I'm having like slight flashbacks. I might have actually tried this exact shade at some point in the past. I don't really remember. If I did, I definitely sold or gave away the blush soon after I tried it. Ah oh, man, see, now I don't want to ruin this because it looks so cool connected together like that. So here's the bottom of the pan. That's kind of cool. It looks like it's been um, stained by the blush colors. I probably should have anticipated this, but it's just a very, very messy process. <laughs> Here is what the powders look like though. Check that out. The paper towels are soft and making it like kind of difficult to cut up the powder. I should probably do this on a softer surface next time, but Anyway. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That was actually really, really satisfying. I can see why people are addicted to these types of videos. I feel like I'm dealing drugs from my mom's basement or something. But anyway, this is what all of the powders look like together. That is pretty dark, huh? Like, you wouldn't expect that to be the average of the five colors. I would have thought it would be like a little bit on the lighter tan-ish side. Anyway, now I'm going to attempt to put it in this empty clear container probably have to do this off camera because I just can't find a way to situate the camera angle so that it works but um, I'll be right back oh all right so that's what we end up with and I wonder if I can even like press it down a little bit so that it's not so loose right, I have this um, the largest coin that is in my wallet at the moment. This is 
an Israeli shekel. That's probably not working, but... I just don't want it to be, like, completely loose. That's actually really pretty with the little specks of white in there. I mean, I could have mixed it up better if I really wanted to make it all just one solid color. Let me apply some on my wrist here. Okay, so the swatch on my wrist, that's kind of like the aggregate color that we ended up with. I'm impressed, it actually still retains that like smooth, glossy, almost shiny texture despite me breaking up the powder completely and turning it into a loose powder, essentially. That's pretty neat. Okay, so for the finale, we're gonna set that aside. And then I actually just wanted to show you that um, you can pop the pans out of most Japanese drugstore makeup or even department store stuff. Uh, most Japanese makeup is designed with like a built-in hole in the back. You can't see it because there's a sticker here. But if you feel around for it, there should be like a built-in hole. Okay, I think it seems like it's right there. And then if you just take a push pin, all you have to do is poke through the hole. Oh wait, actually, maybe it's up here. There we go, there's the hole. So you just push and voila. It will depot the pan for you. See? This glue here is like still tacky. It's not hardened on most Japanese cosmetics. So all you have to do is um, apply some pressure with a pin and usually those pans will pop right out. You don't have to mess with any knives or depotting tools that you might injure yourself with. Just use a regular old push pin. And you'll notice that for a lot of drugstore brands, the pans that they use are actually plastic instead of metal. And I don't know about you, but for some reason, I just find that to be oddly satisfying. Maybe because I just like clear stuff. So there we have it, my first destroying makeup video. I apologize if I hurt anyone's feelings with this, but I just couldn't help myself. I needed to try it out to see what all the hype is about. 